Hello there everybody and welcome back to the High Rise Digital YouTube channel where we discuss WordPress related things and in today's video we are going to be looking at a new plugin that I have built to enhance the core video embeds in WordPress. So WordPress has a, a block to use an embed and uh, it will kind of embed a YouTube or a Vimeo or another type of video for you and in this um, plugin that I've built it kind of enhances that and makes it better and I'm going to show you how that works in this video now. So at the moment I have not got my plugin activated I'm just going to check it's called better uh, core video embeds I'm just going to make sure that's not activated and then I'm just going to show you what happens when you add uh, some video so here we've got a YouTube video so I'm just going to copy the URL and I'm going to paste it into the editor and you'll see that WordPress does the OEmbed standard thing and drops it on, on there and I'll do the same with the Vimeo video uh, which just going to grab that bit and paste that in the editor as well we'll do that just below and again same thing happens I'm then going to update this post and then on the front end I'm just going to get the inspector tools open and we're going to look at the network tab just to see what requests are being made and I'll hard refresh that page just so it's a fair test. So there we go, the page loads and the two videos have loaded nicely on the front end and we can see there are 50 requests and 5.6 megabytes of resources, 1.5 transferred so you can see there's quite a lot of requests there and what you'll see here is things like this one which is the YouTube player um, JavaScript file that's coming in and uh, there's quite a lot of those another one there and so on now what makes sense is that we don't need to load all of those youtube resources or even vimeo resources because i haven't actually clicked to play a video yet it makes no sense to me that that's the case that surely should only happen when the user interacts with a video on the page i.e they press play they want to actually watch it and it's at that point that we should actually then load all the stuff that we need to load the YouTube video. So what our plugin does, and I'll um, turn it on in the plugin section, if we go to activate, what our plugin does here is that if we now refresh this page and we keep the inspector open, once again I'll do a fair test and do a hard refresh, you can see now there's only 23 requests and we've only transferred 1.1 megabytes of resources, so that's much, much more efficient. And you can see what's happened is we've simply grabbed the thumbnail URL, uh, the thumbnail image from the video, and that's the one that was added in YouTube. You can see it's the same as the one that was in the AI player in the iframe before. And similarly, the one from Vimeo, here we go. We've used that as an image on the page. And what happens instead now is all that YouTube and Vimeo stuff hasn't loaded. As soon as I click on this video with this little play icon embedded over the top of it, we load that stuff in and play the video and now you can see the requests have gone up to 77 uh, 78 requests and so on so that's a much more efficient way of doing it now the other great thing about this is it is a progressive enhancement plugin so if you don't use this plugin you get exactly the same as you got before so if i deactivate the plugin refresh the page I don't need to do anything, I don't need to change the way I'm embedding videos, they just work as they did before in, in, in the past. So hopefully you find that really interesting, it's a little enhancement to the core embed block for YouTube and Vimeo videos, just to speed your page up a bit and make them a bit more efficient. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate if you hit the like button. If you haven't already subscribed to the High Rise Digital YouTube channel, then please do so and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.